I take it that you're a fan of horror, gore, beings of the unknown, or maybe you're just one of those select individuals that aren't scared of anything, or maybe I could persuade you just a little bit. There's one horror scene that I'd like to break down today, and that's Kayoshi's Seance. In Kayoshi's Seance, we have a normal restaurant scene. You wouldn't expect anything out of the ordinary to happen in a people infested environment, and at the peak of daylight, here's where the beauty of horror takes place. We're in a populated restaurant, Everything seems fine. The hostess does her job. The guest is taking his order. You know, you wouldn't think anything would happen. But here's where the beauty of horror takes place. First, you get your first peek at the phenomenon. You get the blurry image. In that moment, the horror film allows the gases in your brain to accumulate and imagine. We don't know what this entity is yet. Neither does the guest or the hostess. And the guest is just clueless at this point. Neither the customer or the hostess have seen the illumined danger, then the dead silence. And one of the two get their first glimpse of terror. The awkward silence and the blurred face gives off fumes of terror. Here's another fascinating part. The writer still leaves it up to us to imagine, to put a face on this beast, this entity. We still don't know what it is. You put yourself in the hostess shoes. How did it get here? What does it want? Am I in danger? Then the music. You put yourself in the hostess shoes. How did it get here? What does it want? Am I in danger? Then the music kicks in. We put ourselves back in our own shoes as the viewer. Our heart, our ears, and our eyes are now prepared for a jump scare. Still trying to process the scene. As the woman walks away, we get a different perspective of the entity. This scene is glooming with life right now. You have so many questions. You have so much fear going on. What makes it even better? The whole time. It feels like the entity is watching us, gazing and piercing at us. Yet, we still haven't gotten a face, so our mind is still wondering and imagining a face. You put yourself back into the hostess's shoes and you begin to question, how was I the only one to see this? The guest couldn't feel the sheer evil that rested upon his shoulders. Then you put yourself back in your shoes as the viewer. You question, why didn't she scream? Why didn't she run? Why didn't she alert the guest? As we continue watching, the scene goes normal again still leaving us with so many frightening questions and still trying to put a face on the entity. In my opinion, a lot of horror movies fail once we get the true face of the entity, either from poor design or either the fear from the annoying is no longer there. Just imagine walking to the bathroom and glancing by a nearby room and there's nothing there. You make your way out of the bathroom. You see something that wasn't there before. Tell me you wouldn't be freaked out. They say there's nothing faster than light. They're wrong. Darkness is already there and it's waiting. Let it be known, my friend, that this is the beauty of Kurosawa Kiyoshi's seance.